When I ponder on who I am as a person, I think about what makes up the core of my being, how I was raised, and the shoes I filled as I began to grow and learn more about who I am. To begin, I grew up in a Catholic household. Both my grandparents on my mother and father's side were devout Catholics and my parents continued the tradition. I am proud to have been raised deeply rooted in faith. I feel that many people lose their beliefs as they grow older and more educated about the world around us, especially its tragedies and blunders. However, the lessons I learned growing up stuck with me. I believe that, above anything else, being kind to people is most important. Treating people with love and care has always been, in my mind, a priority. The world needs as much love as it can get, especially in this political climate we live in today. If there's one thing I learned from my faith, it's that, compassion. Individuals with strong religious beliefs are often seen as unaccepting and closed-minded. However, I have grown to know this is not the case. The feeling of love and acceptance is inseparable from faith. What further reinforced my faith throughout my lifetime has been my Catholic education. My parents sacrificed so much in order for me and my older brother, Nick, to attend Catholic elementary and high school. We have never been privileged financially, and so this commitment to our education from my parents means so much to me. I wouldn't trade my years in Catholic school for the world, because that's where I met some of the most down-to-earth, genuine people in my life, including my close friends and teachers I am still in contact with today. My Catholic education especially taught me life skills and hard work integrity, and perseverance that I still hold with me today. I accredit my academic success to my commitment fostered by great faculty and staff at my two former schools, St. Francis of Assisi and Archbishop Williams High School. Another identity I feel is central to my being is my role of younger sister. My older brother Nick has always been my best friend and biggest supporter. We spent so much time together when we were younger, whether it be reading books, playing games, or using our creative skills through writing, drawing, and making pretend movies. Our retro Vimeo camcorders, which I don't even think they make still, busted up with a cracked screen from our quote-unquote action movies. When I was 11, we began to babysit for families around our neighborhood together. As my mother always said, 11 is too young to be a solo babysitter. I was lucky to have grown up in a close four-person family. I feel that my brother, along with my faith, has shaped me into the person I am today. My brother had always been a great source of advice for me. I remember distinctly a time during middle school when I was feeling unaccepted. I felt that because I was different from some of the popular girls in my grade, I wasn't worthy or good enough. I remember the girls' patchy, caked-on makeup that I'd yet to start wearing that somehow made them prettier than me. I remember being called teacher's pet simply because I cared deeply about how well I did in school. These things led to my insecurity. One day in sixth grade, I came home devastated that one of my classmates had been talking about me behind my back. I was sitting in class, focused, ready to learn, when I faintly hear whispers coming from the next row over. Goody two-shoes, I hear. With a heavy heart, I look back and see darting eyes shot towards me, and I cower of embarrassment. I came home and spilled the details of the event. In my 12-year-old self's mind, a travesty. I remember my brother sat me down and told me it was not worth the worry. Be yourself, he told me. It will always pay off. He was right. I was proud of who I was and I wouldn't let other kids get the best of my confidence. This is a valuable lesson I carried with me through high school and even till now. Attending a Catholic school boosted my love for academics as well as my faith. Following in my brother's footsteps in high school, I filled the role of peer minister, a part of campus ministry which was a respected position. Peer ministers represented the senior class 
ran school-wide events, and participated in countless acts of service throughout the year. One of the most memorable parts of being a peer minister would have to be our summer retreat, where we prepared for the coming year, reflected as a group, and volunteered on Cape Cod. In the prettiest beachy area of Massachusetts, it was the perfect setting to reflect and grow as an individual in faith and commitment to others through service, which goes back to my core belief of treating others just and right and with compassion. The warm sunny days we spent in Yarmouth, Mass were filled with warm smiles and kind words from the best support group I've had. I remember a solemn night on the retreat when the group had to share the most important piece of their character. And for most kids, this information was grave and serious. A cloud of silence loomed over the room. Candles were lit and flickered with the warm Cape Cod breeze that gushed in through the French doors of the cabin. I felt an overwhelming sense of love and appreciation for the people around me, as I learned to not judge every book by its cover, as we all carry baggage. To this day, I am friends with my fellow peer ministers. If it weren't for my solid faith and the positive influence of my older brother, I wouldn't have pursued this role and would have never become so close with so many great people. I am lucky to have grown up as a younger sister with great role models to look up to my whole life. My moral compass was strongly formed thanks to these people in my life and my commitment to faith.